This video will teach you how to view and make an in-depth analysis of a joint report in the Data Logger Vault using McElroy's Fusion Guide. The Fusion Guide graphs make it easy to read and understand the data collected in your joint reports. The Fusion Guide graph feature is available only with Data Logger 4 and 5 joint reports. Data Logger 3 users can view the graph on the vault, however, the Fusion Guide overlay is not available. Data Logger 5 users will benefit from all the features of the Data Logger Vault and will be able to see GPS tags and photos captured during the fusion process. To begin, log into your Data Logger Vault account using your username and password. First, we'll take a look at a Data Logger 5 joint report that was made correctly and meets the requirements of ASTM F2620. We'll begin with the report page and then we'll look at the graph. We will compare our information with this report to make sure the operator entered everything correctly. We start by verifying the date and time, joint number, job number, machine ID, and machine model. And we also need to make sure the pipe size and DR were entered correctly, otherwise the recommended pressures will be wrong. Next, we need to review the heater temperature and check that they fall within the range of the standard being used. In this case, the temperature should fall between 400 and 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, note the calibration date of the data logger unit that was used and verify the fusion was made within one year of the last data logger calibration date. Once we've reviewed the report data, we'll inspect the fusion graph. Notice the colored areas. This feature is known as the fusion guide and helps you quickly analyze the data gathered during each fusion. Each colored box indicates three different values at once. The green box represents the heat soak, the time the pipe was resting against the heater. It will show the allowable pressure range and the minimum amount of time required for the heat soak phase of the fusion process. The pink box represents the heater removal phase of the fusion process. It indicates the maximum allowed heater removal time and shows the pressure difference between the heat soak and cool time. Finally, the purple box represents our cool time. It indicates the minimum and maximum pressures allowed during the cool time and the length of time required before pressure can be relieved. If proper logging and fusion procedures are followed, the graph should indicate an initial sharp rise in the fusion pressure during the beat up cycle, a rapid and steep pressure drop to measure drag, proper heat soak time, heater removal time that should be within specification, and a proper cool time. Let's go over this in greater detail. The first spike in pressure we see in the graph is the initial beat up of the pipe against the heater. Then the carriage is shifted from fusion pressure to heating pressure, which is when the pressure drops rapidly. Once the fusion pressure has dropped to either zero or the drag pressure, the carriage is shifted to neutral and remains that way for the heat soak cycle, noted by this long flat portion within the green box. You may see a slight bump in the graph towards the beginning of the heat soak. This is due to thermal expansion and is totally normal and acceptable. The next pressure change we see is when the heater is removed at the end of the heat soak time. The heater must be removed within the allotted time depicted by the pink box. The heater removal graphs can have many different shapes depending on many factors. Keep in mind that once the fusion pressure is reached, the pressure should not drop back below the bottom of the specified fusion pressure range. If this occurs, that joint is not acceptable. Once the heater has been removed, the carriage is closed under fusion pressure and stays that way for the remainder of the cool time, which is depicted by the purple box. The pressure must stay within the box vertically and must be as long or longer than the box horizontally to stay within the acceptable fusion parameters. Be sure to watch part two of this video where we show you some real examples of unacceptable fusion joints in the data logger vault and learn what artifacts should never show up on a successful joint report. To view more videos on the Data Logger Vault, visit www.mcelroy.com forward slash datalogger.